Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. Today, we're going to finish up our Pizza Week recipe. Pizza Week. And this one is so easy, even Rachel can make it. I'm not sure if I like that tagline, <laughs> but we're going to make it right, right after, after this. this. So, Rachel, you don't like that tagline, but you are the one who's always telling everybody that you're not a very good cook. It's true, but I, I don't want to, like, you know, so easy a monkey could do it or Rachel. Well, you're going to suffer the consequences because yesterday you left me to do a recipe video on my own for the pizza casserole and tempted yeah. me with this beautiful keep pizza casserole in the middle of an egg fast. I didn't have to be tempted at all because by the time I got home from The boys work, ate the entire thing. It was I think Caleb actually ate three quarters of devoured. it. Devoured. So I guess that means it's a good thing. That's a good, yeah, that's a good check to see like, yeah, do people like it? Yes. It's okay, delicious. well, so today we're going to make a fathead crust pizza, which is another very popular mm -hmm. uh, keto pizza crust, but we're going to make ours a little bit different than all the people. We're not going to use any eggs. No eggs this week? No eggs. Did you orchestrate this because it would be at the precise intersection I, of, I can't stand even looking at eggs anymore? And I didn't recipes. even think about that. But yeah, no eggs. Uh, when you don't use eggs, it makes the crust just a little bit crispier. Oh. But we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to make one out of almond flour mm -hmm. and we're going to make one out of coconut flour. This way they have both of them. Awesome. I like kind of, I'm a little bit taller. I forgot to You're take You're much taller than me. I, I didn't don't take like my this. heels off. So, well... Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this recipe. All right, let's do it. Right, so first, okay. you're going to need some almond flour and some coconut flour. Obviously, wait, they're only going to need either one or the other. We need both. And we're going to make them fight to the death. <laughs> Who will prevail? Well, I want, I'm curious to see which one the kids like better. Okay, but you What's need, your guess? I don't know. I've had them both ways, mm -hmm. and uh, I like them both, so... But it's some people out. have nut allergies. Oh, okay. So the coconut That's, flour. You're going to use the thing. You know what I like about coconut flour? You need a lot less of it and it's cheaper in the store. That's pretty cool. Okay. So you're going to need your flour. Mm -hmm. We're going to need some mozzarella cheese. So you mean mozzarella? I mean mozzarella. You say potato. I say, I say potato. potato. Okay. So mozzarella cheese. We're going to need some cream cheese. Okay. We need some seasonings. Okay. And this is completely optional. You don't have to add seasonings. I like to add seasonings to it. So I use this Italian seasoning. It's a Mediterranean blend. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use a teaspoon of this. If uh, you don't have any of this kind of seasoning, you can just use a half a teaspoon of basil and a half a teaspoon of oregano. Okay. Then we're going to use some granulated garlic. Which I need to smell. And we're going to use some Redmond Real Salt. Woo! So are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Okay, this is super easy. You're going to make the entire thing by yourself. What? Okay, so here's your bowl. Wait. To your bowl, I want you to add three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. Are you sure anybody's going to want to eat this when We're I'm gonna done? We're going to be fine. All right. Ooh. All right. So Don't make them too heaping. That's perfect. Oh, oh, I actually ooh. usually like to weigh it out. It comes out to be about four and a half ounces. No one ever says like perfect and then like when I'm cooking. <laughs> Two. And three. Okay. Then you're going to add to this. Oop, I dropped some. I've already got it cut up for you. We're going to add one table, uh, one ounce of cream cheese. Okay. Now this, what this, what we're making here is basically a pan, a personal size. Okay. Okay. This, because nobody wants a big pizza. It fits most pizza, little pizza pans that you're going to have at home. If you buy a pizza oh. stone, this is the yeah. perfect amount. Okay. Then you need one teaspoon of your... Uh, Mediterranean blend Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. Do you like top it off like the, it feels so fancy. Just dump it in there. Okay. And then put a half a teaspoon of your granulated garlic. And put the lid back on, otherwise it's gonna be really fun in the kitchen <laughs> for the next person cooking, right? See, I could just be, have you do it the way I do it, which is dump it in until it looks like it's a teaspoon. Oh, yeah, you don't want me guessing, especially with garlic. Well, you will have to guess with this one. Just take your salt and give it a good... I almost hate to tell you to do this because you are so heavy-handed with salt. Just give it a, a give a little, a nice little amount in there. Shake, shake. A little bit more. Shake, shake. Okay, good. 
Go ahead, put it in the microwave 45 seconds. Do we need to stir it? Nope, 45 seconds. 45 seconds it is. So 45 seconds is up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stir it again. Give it a good little stir. Oh, okay. Now we're stirring it. What? Now go ahead and show them because you're going to put it back in there. I'm going to give you another one so we can just clean off that spoon a little bit. It smells good. Okay. So all you're trying to do is get it combined a little bit like that. It looks like dough now. Now go ahead. Another 45 seconds. Okay. Okay. So this is what you're left with. Now, is it weird to want to eat that? You're going to just go ahead and, and stir it up really well. Okay. You want to make sure the, the key to fat head dough is making sure that everything is well combined. Okay. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to grab the coconut flour for you. Now you said you want to do coconut flour first, right? Yeah. Okay. So coconut flour is going to be two tablespoons. Okay. You know, you have this little thing here. What is that? Oh, for this to scrape it? Like this. Ah, how cute is that? Sorry about that. All of a sudden, the screen on our camera shut off. Then we were like, what happened? So yeah. go ahead and put the second tablespoon in. This is so cool. Okay, now go ahead and you're going to stir that up. And again, you got to stir it hard. I guess I want to. The best thing to do is just, I usually like to just use my hands. I use did? your fingers and get in there. And really knead it in because it's got to be really well combined or it's not going to work right. So well, at least I cleaned off my spoon. Dump your spoon and just Ooh, it's get, hot. pull it out and just like knead it around. It, it is a little hot. Don't worry about that. I'm going to take the bowl away from you, actually. Ooh. Hot, 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 hot. Now you hot. can also do this in a food processor. Okay. Are, is it well kneaded? Like what? there you go. Squeeze it through your fingers. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Okay, so put it down on your parchment paper. Okay. Make a nice little ball. Oh. That'll help you make it into a circle. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna put this on here. Mm -hmm. You give it a little press. Try to make it a circle, and I'll grab your rolling pin. And you wanna roll it out. Now, I love this rolling pin. I know we've talked about it before because it'll give you the exact thickness that you want. And I'm not sure what size this one is, just so that everybody knows this. I go with, for this, this is the one-sixth size. One-sixth. Okay. So okay. go ahead and try to make a circle for yourself. And I'm going to grab your pizza pan. Oh, my goodness. I feel like a professional. Mine's kind of an oval. You know, I always think, why can't you just make a circle? But it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Now, you won't be able to get it thinner once it gets down below that orange piece. Oh. Kind of looks it like It looks an, like, I think you've got it the right thickness. I mean, got like an this, alien head. It's, it's kind of a weird shape, but... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on your pizza pan. Okay. And you're going to peel off this top piece. Oh, how pretty. And go ahead and show that to them. Oh my goodness. I like look, looking at all of these beautiful, can you see it? I like looking at all of the beautiful, like, Italian uh, all seasonings. All the Italian seasonings and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's this one. This is the coconut flour one. Let's go ahead and start on the almond flour. Here's okay. the thing. The only difference, we'll do this part off camera to make this video a little bit shorter. Yeah. And we'll come back with the almond flour. The only difference is with the almond flour, we use more almond flour. Why? But everything else is going to be the same because almond flour is super absorbent, so you need a lot less of it. Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to put this to the side. We're going to bake them at the exact same time. Okay. A race to the finish. Okay. And we will be right back as soon as we're ready to put the almond flour into the cheese mixture. Awesome. Okay, so we're back. The cheese is all melted. All you have to do now is add the almond flour. Right. Now we used two tablespoons of coconut flour before. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use a third of a cup of almond flour. Wow. So it's the coconut flour that is like super absorbent. So you yes. need way less yeah, of it. Yeah, you need way less. Generally about a third less. Wow. So how much again? So why did I say the wrong thing before? I, I think so. I don't know. I'm not going to go back and re-record it. So if I said it wrong, I, I said it wrong because I know. Use a lot less coconut flour because that's what I like about coconut flour. You use less of it and it's cheaper. Okay. Okay, so a third of a cup. All right. I need to like pack it in there. 
Ooh, you never really want to little... pack flour, but that's good. Is that good? Yep. Go ahead and dump that in. And same thing. You got to stir that up. And you got to kind of do it fast because you don't want that cheese to melt. Okay. Or to start cooling down. Yeah. It's opposite day on two crazy ketos. Now, this is the one that you're really going to have to knead in with your fingers because there's a lot more flour. So you're going to have to really try to knead it the best you can. Okay. Now, if you are having this issue and it starts sticking to your hand, okay. you can just uh, wet your fingers a little bit or you can even put a little bit of oil on your fingers. But I wouldn't add more almond flour personally. It is hot, but Do you need me to help you? I may need you to help me because I don't okay. want to get burnt here. That is not burning your hands? You've got a cook's hands. <laughs> They've seen things, they've been places, they've been burned. Again, you can do this in the food processor as well, which will really knead it up well. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and get your parchment paper. What's this? This is not a school supply. Okay. So grab your other parchment paper. Try to, before you reuse a rolling pin, kind of stretch it out into a circle as best you can. I'll put this away. And you're using that same... I'm going to grab your pizza pan. Same size. We want it the same thickness. We don't want to give anybody an unfair advantage. Oh, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better. This one doesn't look like an alien head. This one looks like a Mr. Potato Head. And his bucket of parts. I love Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. All right. I think you got it, right? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so go ahead. Now, here's the funny part. Like a boss. Same exact thickness. Coconut flour, you only use two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Here you used a third of a cup, and they're close to the same size. What? Isn't yeah. that kind of funny? I mean, honestly, they'd probably be the same size, except for my rolling pin skills. <laughs> so. Okay, so we're going to put these in the oven, 400 degrees, for about eight to 10 minutes. Now I say about because you're gonna have to check on it. You don't want it to burn, okay? But you will have to check on it after about two or three minutes because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get big bubbles in the middle. So you wanna just kind of go in there as you get those bubbles and just kind of poke them with a fork and let the air out of have them. Have you noticed that coconut flour versus almond flour, one of them tends to cook faster? No. Okay. So let's right. go ahead and put them in the oven. Okay. Tabitha. Tabitha thinks there's something to eat in the oven. Okay, go ahead. It's about three or four minutes. Just pull that out and pop the little bubbles that are on there. Like that? Just like that. Do I need to flip it over or anything? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, and then you got to do the one on the other stove. I burst that pizza's bubbles. <laughs> oh, wow. Make sure you actually poke the holes. That's it. Awesome. Now what you're gonna do is in about three or four minutes, we could, I like to flip it over. You don't have to. I just like having the entire thing cooked evenly. Cooked evenly. Okay, so this is the almond flour one, and are I know. You, are you wearing pajama pants? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, but you're wearing heels and a jacket. I'm going to be comfortable, and I never wear pajama pants. One of these things are not like the <laughs> okay, other. Okay, I know your hands are sensitive, so that's what the bottom looks like if you don't flip it. So we're not even going to flip it. I think it's perfect just like yeah, that. Yeah, that's like gorgeous. Let me go ahead and grab the coconut flour one for you. I feel super proud. So, oh my goodness, I feel so proud. Like, you did a good job. These look beautiful. Are you ready to make a pizza? I am, but you Tab can't move though. Tabitha is absolutely right underneath my feet. She's not used to you cooking in the kitchen. She is totally in shock, so bad that mommy is cooking that she needs to lay down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the toppings. And I'm thinking that there's a lot of cheese in this already mm -hmm. because we use, you know, mozzarella cheese. Yeah. So let's try to lower the carbs a little bit and okay. we'll make, let's make these a white pizza. I mean, the kids have been eating red sauce pizzas all week. I actually love white sauce. So pizza. let's make a white sauce pizza. Let me grab the ingredients and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We found this Alfredo pasta sauce and it's organic at Aldi's. It was $1.59 for this jar. Aldi is constantly upping its game. And it's it's got pretty good ingredients. There's some like, eh, I don't know, Man. but... 
it's so much cheaper than making my own. And just for like a pinch like this, as you know, once in a blue moon, seven grams of fat, three grams of carbs, no fiber, one gram of protein. Wow. But way a lot of fat. A lot of fat. So let's go ahead. And the serving size is a quarter of a cup. That's pretty. So let's go ahead and just put a quarter of a cup on each one. It's actually a little bit even less than a quarter of a cup. That's a nice little serving. I know that this is the coconut flour one because it's got an alien slash skull head. Okay, and then here, let's go ahead and do the other one. And this one looks a little bit more professional. So we're not even using a quarter of a cup. We're actually using a little bit less. Can I try this on my egg fast? I guess not, huh? Sadly, no. I have a feeling that you are going to be wanting pizza on Saturday. Okay, so now we've got some sausage. We've got some Italian sausage. We've got some pepperoni and we got a bunch of spinach. Why don't we put the spinach on first? Spinach? Just grab a nice handful of spinach. Spinach and put is on your always phone. funny to me when it cooks because you put like a ton on and then it just like shrivels down to nothing. I was looking at the, you know, your Blaze Pizza one. And I was like, oh my gosh, when the guy put the spinach on, and then when you take it out of the oven, it looks like there's no spinach on it. Anthony's watching oh, something funny. I can hear him laughing. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, now let's throw all our meats on there. So go ahead and just pizza, pizza. put a bunch of that on. I love sausage on a pizza. Sausage and ground beef. What do you like? Meat wise. I like everything. I like Supreme Pizza, which is why I came up with that pizza casserole. I think that's good. And then just put a few pepperonis on there. I'll do this one for you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Pizza is so pretty. It's a pretty food. You get lots of like pretty colors, don't you think? Yep. It's very important to you that things are pretty, right? And here, we've got a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese left. Is he, are these so pizzas we'll just, prettier than me? No, nothing's prettier than me. There's a man that is smart. Okay, now we're going to put it back in the oven. That is gorgeous. Okay, back in the oven, five minutes tops. All we want to do is melt down our tops. Make it all melty. So okay. let's go ahead and do that. That one's really hot at the pizza stuff. You're coming back for this one. So here is the almond flour one. Beautiful. And then here's your coconut flour one. I feel like such a chef. You did a great job. Thank you. And how easy was that, right? All you have to do is melt some cheese and some cream cheese in the microwave and mix it with some flour. Sadly, it was so easy. Rachel it's could do super it. It's super easy. Now, if you don't have a microwave, like my sister doesn't have a microwave, you can still do this. Just do it over a double boiler. Oh, okay. That makes okay. sense. Just melt everything down. Or go next door and use your neighbors. <laughs> but then you're going to have to give them some of the pizza. Okay, so now you will notice that we cooked this on the parchment paper. The one thing about fathead dough is it is very sticky. So if you try to put this directly on a pizza stone or put it directly on a metal sheet pan, which is what we it's use gonna for It's going to live there one, forever. It's going to live there forever. So <laughs> just cook it on the parchment paper. You will get a nice crust on the bottom. I'll go ahead and I'll lift this one up. Don't bring yourself. Okay. Actually, I'm, it's kind of heavy. So I don't think I'm going to be able to lift it up. I'll okay. lift it up from the pan. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take it off of the parchment paper. So there you can go. So you can see, look at the bottom. It's beautiful. It's like golden. It, it looks just like a pizza crust. It, it really does. So. It's like a perfect thin crust pizza. Okay, so let's go over the nutrition, the difference between the two of them. Okay. okay. So this one is the coconut flour. So if you go with the coconut flour, mm -hmm. just the crust, we're not we're not counting the toppings. Yeah, because okay. that can vary. Yep. So just the crust, you're looking at 402 calories if you eat this entire thing. Because again, I consider this like this is a nice meal. Thank you. One serving. One, One serving. serving. Now you could cut into. I would usually cut this into two for us as part of like our meal. Okay. Just by the time you add your toppings and everything on it. Okay. But okay. So if you eat the entire crust yourself, which yes. I think most people are going to eat something this size, just like we said with the real good pizzas. You know it. Four hundred and two calories. Again, just the crust. Twenty nine grams of fat. 
It is going to be um, 13 carbohydrates, okay. and it's going to be 6 grams of fiber. So you're looking at 7 net carbs, and it's 25 grams of protein. Way less than the chicken. Okay, so again, you're looking at 7 net carbs, 13 total carbs if you eat this whole thing. Which I am. Okay. Now, if you, do, if you need a bigger pizza, mm -hmm. simply just double everything. Okay, so now your almond flour one, we're looking at 500... Sorry, that was annoying me. <laughs> so the almond flour one, we're looking at 580 calories. So it's much higher in calories because okay. it's almond flour. All right. But it's also 47 grams in fat. Nice. Okay. It's going to be 12 carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 4 grams of fiber. Okay. Okay, so it's 8 net carbs. So you're you're right in the same ballpark. Yeah, you're in the vicinity. Once, this one's 13 total carbs. This one's 12 total carbs. Okay. This one is one more net carb, though. Less fiber. All right. Okay. And 31 grams of protein. Just a little bit higher. No, but again, 47 grams of fat. So you're you're in the ballpark. This one's a little bit higher in calories. Mm -hmm. This one is also using almond flour. It costs a lot more. You know, almond flour, even if you go to Costco, you know, you're paying $12 for three pounds of almond flour. You're making a big case for the coconut guy. I like the coconut flour one. But it some doesn't people, taste too some coconutty? People, no, I don't think it, especially when you're adding all these toppings, you don't taste the coconut at all. Okay. So, and again, I've made these with egg and without egg. And even Anthony tried them both, and he's like, it's much better without egg. And to top it off, when you don't, when you add the egg, you have to up the flour. Oh. So now you're upping your carbohydrates. Yeah. So, but you get a crispier crust without the egg. Yeah, these are nice and crispy. Okay, now if you want to make a bigger pizza for this one. Like for the family? Be, yeah, for the family. And again, that's, to me, this is a nice size pizza. Perfect. Okay, I, without even, I'll, I'll, I'll research it, and I'll, I'll like put everything into my macros and put up what we have on here. Uh, I'm going to guess this is about a thousand calories. Okay. Okay. But now if you want to double this one, in, you're not going to double the flour. You're going to go from a third of a cup up to three quarters of a cup of almond flour. All right. Okay. I like this size because I don't like to share. Yeah. To me, this is the perfect size and it generally, you know, fits your pans well and everything else. Very cute. So, so that is our video for today. Hopefully this helped you guys out. It concludes our pizza week. Buy pizza week. So I don't know what I'm going to do because like I'm, I didn't even get to eat any pizza all week. I know what you're doing on Saturday. You're absolutely going to want to eat a pizza. I've, I've got six lacrosse games and then church. I doubt very much that unless I decide to go off a of keto, I doubt I'm going to be cooking a pizza. So on Saturday you think you'll like just keep it simple and you know eat eggs? That's definitely not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And even this proves that even Rachel can cook a pizza. I feel like a rock star. Like I'm gonna live off of this high for a bit. So let us know down below if you guys make these, what you wanna put on your pizza. Which one would you prefer to make? Either the coconut flour or the almond flour. And until next time, bye. Bye.